yoga for acidity here we will do few asanas for acid reflux this is a seated forward bend with your legs in front of you take your hands up inhale exhaling try to touch your toes and go down on your knees you can do a rowing style too inhale take your hands a little bit backwards go back and go forward with the exhalation trying to touch your knee with your head this is vakrasan the seated spine twist so here the opposite hand will come across your folded leg and you will look behind to give a spine twist where again your abdominal organs are getting a massage fold your leg keep the foot near the knee take the same hand back twist your spine and let your opposite hand go across your knee and sit in the spine twist inhale take your hand up again and exhale out now this is ardha matsyendra asan half load of fishes pose here also your legs are across each other but one knee is up and you're doing a spine twist by getting your opposite hand once again across that knee and out do the same with the other leg one knee is folded down the other is upwards inhale and take your hand opposite across the knee and look at the back so your spine is twisted keep exhaling here inhale hand up and exhale come out of the pose one more time same pose <coughs> inhale take your hand up spine straight and out of the pose So here we are with Shashankasan. It's like a child pose, but there is a difference here where your knees will be separated and the spine will go forward in between the two knees. So inhale, exhaling, separate your knees and let your straight spine go down with your head on the floor, arms stretched out. Keep breathing here. You can do this pose with a padmasan too. So now we will go into the pavan muktasan, which is the air relieving pose. So inhale, take your leg up, fold it, and hold it near your chest. and take your head up and touch your nose or head forehead to the knee getting the knee closer so we'll inhale leg up exhale fold it and hold it inhale head is down exhale take your head up and get your knee closer to your nose inhale again leg, leg is up and exhale it's down we do it with both the legs so this is the purna pavan muktasan so inhale take your leg up and exhale fold it inhale head is down exhaling take your head up get your knees closer to the nose inhale legs up and exhaling out of the pose You can do this with three rounds with each leg and both the legs too. You take both your feet together, join them like this, soles together. Get them very close to your body. Keep your back or your spine straight and clasp both this feet in your palms and then start flapping your knees like this. This is butterfly pose.
See, when you flap your knees, it looks like the butterfly's wings. Okay, relax now and bring both your feet little in front of you but still keep it clasped and here you breathe in first and when you're breathing out you go down as much as you can you can go more down you can go more and come up again breathe in and go down breathe out One more time, breathe in, going down again, breathe out, and relax. So now we will do the plow pose. The plow pose is a lying down pose, where you are lying down. And now your knees are going behind. Okay? So all you have to do is pose. You will keep your feet curled up like this. Your toes are curled up. So your knees come up and you will go like this first just to relax your back. Then you will slowly touch one heel and put one hand up. Then you will touch the other heel and keep this hand up. Now try and touch both the heels. And then come out of the pose. And do a forward bend by doing the child pose. Now sit down for some pranayams. So we will first do the Bhastrika. Breath of fire. Here we will do a with Padmasana. Inhale and exhale with the short breaths but strong ones. So we did three rounds of 30 small breaths each. So this is the breath of fire, Bhastrika. 
Now we'll do Anulom Vilom. Hold your hand in the Vishnu Mudra and place your thumb on the right nostril. Breathe from the left. Block it with your finger, other finger, and release your thumb. Release your breath from your. Now breathe in from the same nostril. Block it and release from the other side. Once again, inhale from your. Block it and release from the other side. Inhale from here. Block it. Release from the other side. Once again, inhale. Block and release. Inhale. Block. Release. You can keep doing this for two, three minutes. Now we'll do Kapalabhati. So here we'll inhale and exhale the whole breath in short spurts. Till the whole breath is out. You can keep your hand on your tummy to feel the spurts coming out. You can do this also three rounds each three times. Take a deep breath. And exhale. Now we relax into the corpse pose, the Shavasan. Both legs are away from each other, feet are at the sides. Hands are away from your body, palms facing the ceiling. Chin is into your neck. Adjust your shoulders, relax your body, take deep breaths. See that there is no tension anywhere in the body. Come out of the pose by Folding your legs and folding your hands, turn to your right, keep your hands folded under your face and slowly start getting up from here. Sit down, rub your palms together the friction and the healing energies cup your eyes breathe here cup your ears touch your head your shoulders knees thank you for watching Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Anyone can yoga. Namaste.